Free trials are literally killing your SMA. Now, if this is your second time watching, welcome back. It's the first time I posted this video. It had no audio. So I'm going to make it even better and explain to you the who, what, where, when, how, why, whatever the fuck about why free trials actually suck. Okay. So this whole story starts right here. Literally right here in my bed last night when I was sitting there thinking about my own agency, thinking about, okay, offer structure. How, like, how do you want to position your offer? How, like, offer is one of the most important things inside of your agency, inside, inside of any business. And so I was rethinking my offer like any person who contemplates life does at fucking midnight every single night. And I was like, okay, we currently don't have any case studies because this is a new offer. Case studies are one of, if not one of the most important things you could have as a new business because it allows you to build inherent trust with prospects because they can see, oh, hey, this thing that this person is doing has already worked for somebody else. This makes me feel better and increases the perceived likelihood of achievement, one of the four steps on the value equation by Alex Ramosi. Therefore, they'll be more likely to buy. So with that being said, we all default to offering free trials, but... I realized that free trials might not be the best way to go. Okay, and I'm going to explain to you why that is and what you need to do instead. Okay, I'm not going to give you fucking blue balls. I'll explain to you what you need to do instead. And also, a little update on Project 7 Figures, a.k.a. the growth partner agency that me and Andreas are starting and scaling. We have booked six meetings today, and it is 12 p.m. at the time of recording this video. So, things are headed good. We're in a rough patch. We're going good now. And so, stay tuned because there's going to be huge updates on that soon. But we're taking a long-term approach. Therefore, no short-term wins for the time being. Anyways, back to the video. So, so here's why free trials suck, okay? If you think about life, think about anything in life, think about any time when you've got given something for free. How did you value it? Did you associate this free thing with high value or low value? Well, probably low value because it was free, right? Because when something is free, we don't value it. Think of oxygen, think of water, right? Like these things aren't valuable because, well, anybody can get them. They, they, anybody can get them. There's an abundance of these things. Therefore, it costs no money and it has little value in the sense that we don't pay for it. We don't pay every time we take a breath. We don't pay every time we, we take some uh, tap water, right? We, we don't. It's free. Why? Well, that, that's a whole separate can of worms we could dive into. But the point is, we don't value it because it's free. Okay, what is that doing for your SMMA? Well, when you are telling people, hey, look, I'll work for you for free, they instantly think, regardless of how you want to position yourself, this guy must be shit because he's offering his services for free, is what they think. Now, listen, I, I, although I know that is not true, and although I've done much free work, that is what they think. They simply think, if this is free and they've never done it before, they must just be shit, hence why it's free. And so, much like anything else in the world, when something is free, we don't value it. So if you want to be taken more seriously in your business, you have to stop doing free trials. But I know you're probably asking me, Stefan, how the fuck do I not do a free trial but still sign clients easily? That's what I'm going to give to you today, okay? We're going to do a repositioning, a restructure of how you frame yourself so prospects actually see you as higher status than you are now while offering the same thing. Okay, that's what we're going to dive into. I'm going to give you the who, what, where, when, how, what you need to do. So that way, after watching this video, you can instantly implement it right away so you can start to make more money. Okay, that's what you get for being here and watching these videos is not only will I tell you why it sucks, but also tell you what to do. Because I'm not here to fucking rip you off. Okay, anyways, let's, let's move on. Okay, let's give you some value. And also, just to be clear, if you learn something from this video and you do not apply it, you did not learn it. Because my good friend Alex Newman once said, learning is, def is defined as a change in action based on exposure to new information. So if you do not change your actions as a result of learning or listening to this, you haven't learned anything. So you have to change something in order to have learned something. So make sure you take your notepad out and implement these changes so therefore you actually learn something. So if you don't change anything, what's the point in watching these videos? I don't fucking know. Maybe you just really love me. Thank you. Let's move on. Free trials. Okay. They suck. And they suck purely because of the framing associated with a free trial. You see, like we talked about, free trials are looked at as worse. Let me give you an example. Imagine that you got a free phone when buying a laptop. Okay. So let's say there's a laptop. And, and in, in scenario A, they gave you a free phone when you bought the laptop. In scenario B, they gave you a complimentary iPhone to go with the purchase of the laptop. In which scenario is the value of the phone higher? 
The second one. Why? It's the same thing. Well, it's the way we framed it. In this one, it just said, oh, free phone. You think, oh, well, if I buy a free phone, it's probably going to be shit. Whereas in this one, they said complimentary iPhone with a purchase of a MacBook. It's like, okay, that, like, that seems like a good deal. That seems like, th- that seems like something I want. So what's the difference? Because they're both the same. They're both just giving you the iPhone. Well, it's the framing. It's the positioning. It, it, right? it, is, it is how you angle and structure the thing. And it's why oftentimes at places like luxury hotels, they don't say free this, free that. They say complimentary. Why do they say complimentary? Well, it increases the status of the thing they are giving. It makes you think of it as more valuable because it's not free. It's complimentary, which means that it's associated with something else. And so we should learn a thing or two from these fancy hotels because they make a lot more money than you and I do. And it's that instead of positioning things as free, we should position them as complimentary or rather said as not free. For example... Here's where the sauce begins. You know, fucking take your notepad out because I must give more sauce in this video than you have in your entire fridge and cupboard combined. So, what you want to do instead, instead of saying, hey, I'm going to do a free truck because I've never done this before, say, listen, I work only as a pay-as-you-profit basis because I like to talk the talk and walk the walk. You see, the best salespeople in the world, they don't get asked to to get paid base pay. They get asked to pay commission because they know that if they can get paid a percentage of the deal they'll make, they'll make a ton of money. So that's the same way I operate because I'm confident in myself. And so I work only as a pay-as-you-profit basis, so I do not get paid until you make money. Therefore, there's no risk to you. I incur all the risk. I take all the risk. You pay me nothing, and you only pay me after you've already made money. No risk on your end. Now, what what did we just do there? Well, we took the free trial. We flipped it on its head. It's still a free trial, but we just repositioned it, restructured, re-angled the offer so that it now seems like something more exclusive, something of more value, a pay-as-you-profit basis. Now, guess what? What's so good about this? Number one, you're seen as higher status. Number two, you'll actually close more people because the perceived value goes up when the cost remains the same. The cost is still zero, but the perceived value and the perceived likelihood of your service goes through the roof because they don't have to pay. And because you're saying you work on a pay as you profit, which makes them think, oh, this guy's serious because he talks the talk and walk the walk, which means he must know a thing or two. Value goes up. Price stays the same. So you will close more people as a result of doing this. So not only will you close more people, you will also get paid if you do a good job, right? Like in a free trial, you don't get paid. If you do a good job or bad job, you still don't get paid. In this, if you do a good job, you get paid and you'll close more clients and you have higher status. Wow. Look at all these things that come from just changing our offer positioning from free trial to pay as you profit or pay as you close or pay as whatever. Look at that. That's something, hey. That that that's something worth making a video about, and I thought so too. Which is why, for those of you know, this is the second time recording this because the first time I uploaded this 16 minute video had zero audio. I spent 16 minutes sitting here talking to myself about this exact thing, only to figure out no audio. So I sure hope that right now, if you're listening, I have audio. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be pissed. But let's go back to the free trial because. One or two things have happened. One, you've already clicked off the video because you're already implementing this. Or two, your brain is shocked and you're like, what else could you possibly say? And so, let's find out. So, let's take a step back. Okay, let's let's review, quickly analyze what we've talked about here today so you know what you need to implement. What we've talked about, instead of positioning yourself as, hey, I'm just offering a free trial, positioning yourself as, hey, I'm working in a, on a pay-as-you-profit basis because I like to put my money where my mouth is. And so, I don't get paid until you do. How does that sound? You've changed your positioning, you've changed your structure, you've changed how you offer your offer. The fuck? Anyways, you now still offer the same thing, which is a free trial. You're working for free for X period of time, but you will just get paid now. And so you get all the benefits of a free trial and then some, and you get all the benefits of everything else because you get paid. And so the reason why free trials are killing your SMMA or killing whatever fucking agency you own is because people are devaluing you, which not only lets you close less clients, but the people you do close don't really give a fuck, which is why they don't call the leads quickly or why they don't meet with you on time or why so many things get fucked up. Because guess what? They just thought, oh, 
It's free. Sure, I'll take it. You know when you know when you're at a store and like they're handing out these like fucking things or whatever, or like, you're, like let's say you're at a game and they're handing out like I don't know balloons. Or, I, don't, I don't fucking know. You've ever been somewhere somebody's giving you something for free? Let me ask you this. If you answered yes to that question, let me ask you this. Where is that thing that you got for free? Where is it now? You probably don't know. Or if that, in fact, it might be in the garbage. Why? Well, you didn't value it with anything. Because you didn't have to pay. You didn't have to pay for it, so you didn't value it. The same way that these people, these clients you may have, don't value you because they didn't have to pay. And so they thought of it as, oh, this is a nice, a nice add-on, a nice bonus, hoping that they might make some more money off it. But if they did or didn't, they didn't really care because they didn't have to pay anything. Wow. You see how that can cause some problems in us doing our service? Like you could you could give this this client the best qualified prospects in the world. If they don't give a shit and don't close, it doesn't matter. So you have to incentivize them to also want to work hard. Right? And you do that by putting some incentivization. Hey, we work together for this common goal. If you make money, I make money. Boom. It's like, oh, okay. Let me pay more attention because this guy surely wouldn't spend all his time working for free. And so he's probably going to do a good job. And if he's going to do a good job, I better pay attention because I'm going to make money too. So listen, I could probably sit here and repeat myself and regurgitate the same three things over and over and over again, telling you to stop doing free trials and to reposition yourself. It wouldn't do any of us either good. I got to get back to work. You got to get back to work. We got to go make some money. We got to change the world. We got to impact others. We got to inspire people. Okay, we got stuff to do. We got we got a life to live, my friend. But I do want to say, if you're still watching this video, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart because I appreciate you sitting here on this YouTube video with me for the last 11 minutes and 40 seconds. I hope that the time you give me is worth the value I provide. For those of you who are avid watchers. I have something to tell you. For those of you who are not avid watchers, welcome. All I ask of you to do is subscribe. Why? Why do I selfishly ask you to subscribe? Well, I have nothing to sell you. Nothing. I have my own fucking agency. That's it. I don't sell anything. Okay, nothing. I have no association with anything that sells any services to agency owners. Not, none of that shit. I only post this video to help you guys out. You can see this little canvas here from Andrew Tate. I'll read it to you guys. It says, success isn't about what you accomplish. It's about what you inspire others to do. So how can I be successful if I haven't inspired other people to become great? And so me making these videos, these videos is my best effort to inspire you to become the best version of who you are, to become 1% better than you were yesterday. Okay, to just become the best version of yourself. That is my goal here. And as you've noticed, I've posted less frequently lately. Why is that? I'm committing myself to not posting every day because I understand that there's some days where I'm, I cannot give the amount of value as I wish I could. Okay, I understand that that doesn't happen every day. And so I'm dedicating myself to only posting videos when I think the value is in excess of the time you give me. So I will only ever post if I think the video is good, which means you turn, you subscribe and turn your notifications on because I'm only ever going to post a video if I think they could truly help you. Otherwise, I would not want to post it. And so that is my new thing. Okay. If you're still here, thank you. I appreciate you. I hope that you can go on to make more money now with this change in uh, in your agency or in your business or whatever the hell you do. Okay. With that being said, I am now going to go back to work. You, my friend, should also go back to work. And remember, learning is defined as a change in action, change in action based on exposure to new information. So if you don't change your action, you don't learn anything. So change something in order to have learned something from this YouTube video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned because I'm actually going to read this off to you guys just because why not? In the next coming days here, okay, or days, weeks, ever, I've got some really good YouTube videos coming. Okay, I'm going to do a live agency audit. If you want me to edit, if you want me to audit your agency live, one on one, okay, join my Discord. Let me know. I'm picking a few people to audit their agencies live for a video. I'm going to make a video on why scripts suck and an example that happened with inside my agency. A video on how funnel hacking can get you your next client. Live cold calling, growth partner, breakdown and structure offer. Why two call closing is taking over and, and if you should or shouldn't do it. Vlogs, how to sell and much more stuff coming soon. So I promise you won't want to miss it. I'm going to go back to work. Catch you guys in, in the next episode. Peace.